Hi guys, Grant from beyondbeaver.com where I teach you how to build websites ridiculously quick. Uh, today I'm going to show you something really cool that I came across on the Commonwealth Bank of Australia website. Uh, so one of Australia's largest banks, they uh, obviously have a lot of people that they're trying to uh, optimize their website for. So looking at their main menu, it looks like they've decided that uh, personal banking, uh, business banking, corporate and institutional, those three things, they're the three sort of funnels that they want their users to go down. Uh, so I'm guessing they've done a lot of research and they've found out their target audience is those three categories. And so they need to separate their website to do that. And they've, I, I feel like they've come up with a really good solution. Now they have two menus on their website at any given time up the top in the header. Uh, but what happens is there's the main toggle, which starts the sort of the different sort of user. Uh, so for instance, personal and the main menu under that relates to only personal banking. Now, if we click on business to go to business banking, the whole main menu changes to just be about business banking. And again, that would happen with the corporate side. So uh, the way that you can break it down is this main menu up the top is a toggle for the different type of user that's coming to the website. And based on that selection, it changes the main menu underneath. Uh, I can see many applications for where this might be very useful. And that's why I've sort of, I've come up with this tutorial today for you guys. Um, but I'm going to go one step further and show you something really cool that you can do with Beaver Builder as well. So not only are we going to toggle the main menu based on the selection that we choose up the top here, uh, but we're also going to make this so that when you click on a link here, it scrolls down the page to that row. Now this is a built-in feature uh, of the Beaver Builder plugin. And so how it works is uh, we're going to give each row um, its own unique ID. And when you click through these links up the top, it's going to go to those different rows. So let's jump in and do this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create the two different pages. So uh, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to copy the CBA's website. So we're going to do a personal side and we're going to do a business side. So they're the two pages we need to create. Now I've gone ahead and done them. This is the uh, business page. So here we put your business first. And then I've also done the personal banking page, which I've set as the home page. Personal banking, much of the same content. Again, uh, I've just chosen a great layout that comes default in the pro and agency versions of the Beaver Builder plugin for WordPress. And I think I've just changed the titles. This is easy. I'm just going to use the uh, same menu items from the CBA. So if we go to the personal banking, I'm going to make it so that you have business, uh, personal and business up the top. And then when you click on personal, we're going to have uh, banking, home buying and super and retiring. And when you click on business, uh, let's do products, business support and tools. Okay. So we've created those two pages, the business and the personal. Now what we need to do, we need to give the rows that we want to scroll to on the page a unique ID. Why? Because that's how Beaver Builder works. So what we're going to do is if we go back to here to the Commonwealth Bank, the personal, we're going to do banking, home buying and super and trying. So three different menu items. So back on our personal page, we need to give three rows a unique ID. So let's go ahead to do that. We just launch Beaver Builder on that page. And I want this to be the first row that gets scrolled to. So we're going to name this banking uh, the next one is going to be home buying we're adding the IDs by editing the row by clicking on the the wrench I'll just show you so clicking on the the wrench advanced tab and scrolling down to the ID field and we're just adding it so we'll add home buying and super and retiring the wrench and the advanced tab, we're going to scroll down and we'll just call this super. So the ID is super. We're going to scroll to that when we click on the super up the top. And then we click done and we save those changes. Next, so we need to do the business page. So it's going to navigate to that. So forward slash business is how I've set it up. We'll launch the page builder. And if we go back and we click on business. We've got products, business support, and tools. So when we click on products, I want it to go to this row here. 
products. I've already gone ahead and added all these for you because you've just seen how to do it with the uh, personal page. So this one, business support. I've added the support. And then lastly, business tools. This has the ID of tools. So it's going to go ahead and save that. So just to recap, we've created our two pages and we've got the IDs on each of the rows that we want to scroll to when a menu item is clicked. Now we need to create our three menus. So by three, I mean we need our toggle menu up the top, which is going to be the personal and the banking, and then a menu for each of those. So the personal bit banking uh, menu and the business banking menu. So to do that, you just do it like any normal menu. So you just go to your dashboard, appearance, menus, so firstly, we'll create that toggle menu up the top. So create new menu, and we'll just call it uh, banking toggle. Create the menu. And then in this, we're going to add the personal and business links, which are going to be the toggles. And we're going to assign this because we're using the Beaver Builder theme. Uh, we're going to put this into the top bar so it shows up in the top right. Let's save the menu. And if we just take a look at our website on the front end, so we'll just refresh that. That menu, because it's in the top menu header uh, menu location, it's up the top now. And again, we've got the toggle. So personal, that's the homepage, that's already active. And if we click on business, it goes to our business. So personal, business. Okay, now let's create the personal banking menu. So let's create a new menu. And we're going to call this banking personal and then click the create menu button. And then in it, we're going to add the links. So again, the personal, we're going to have banking, home buying and super and retiring. So to do that, we're going to create the custom links because these are going to scroll down the page. They're not actually uh, links to separate pages. Uh, and the way that we link to a, a row that has an ID is you put a hash sign and then the ID of the row. So the first one is going to be banking. We're, link, we're going to scroll to the banking. So the URL is going to be hash banking. Again, the hash symbol plus the ID of the row that we're scrolling to. And then just give it a label. So banking, click add to menu. Just go ahead and do the two others. So uh, home buying, home buying, add to menu. And the last uh, ID that we gave on that page was super, the so super and retiring, and we'll just call that super and retiring and save. We've got them in there. We're going to uh, add it to the header menu and click save menu. Doing that, we're going to add it to the header menu so that by default, our website has the personal banking menu. Because if we go back to the Commonwealth Bank of Australia and we go to their homepage, it actually defaults to personal because that's their widest audience. So I thought that'd be a good idea just to show you um, how setting the header menu here, it does do the default menu. And then what we're going to learn uh, in a little bit is how to uh, on a per page basis, replace the main menu. Uh, so what do I mean by that? So if, uh, so by default, it's going to get the uh, personal banking menu, but on the business banking, so we're going to check for that page. If it is a business banking page, we're going to replace the main menu with our own custom menu. So after doing that, again, we set the default menu. If we refresh the front end, we're going to see that on the personal, we got banking, home buying, and super retiring. And also, because it's a default site wired on the business, it's there as well. Now, if we go back to the personal, so we're on the personal banking page, because we have the IDs already on the page and we have our menu here, when we click, it's going to scroll to those sections. So this page is done. That's done. Now, what we need to do is we need to create the business menu. We go back into the menus, we create a new menu. I'm going to call this uh, banking business, create menu. 
and then we're going to create our custom links again. So again, they're not actual separate page links. These are going to be the links to the divs on the page. Uh, and if we go back to the business page, products, business support, and tools are the uh, links in our page. So we're going to do product, add to menu. Uh, and then we're going to add the support. And lastly, the last section on that page was business tools. And we gave this row the ID of tools. So we're going to do hashtag tools and tools and click add to menu. And we're not going to select the header menu because again, the personal is going to be our site wide default. We don't want it to be this business, uh, business menu. We only want to show this one using the conditions that we're going to add in the next step. So we go ahead and we save this menu. And then if we go to the business page, see how it has the personal menu still. So this is our next step and this is our final step. We just need to replace this menu if we're on the business page with that business menu that we just created. So to do that, it's a quick snippet of PHP. I promise it's not too difficult. Uh, and I've got some comments in there. You can find this on the blog post uh, at beyondbeaver.com. I'll put it in the bio below actually, so you can just uh, click directly. So to do that, we're going to access uh, cPanel or we're gonna use our FTP client. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to use my cPanel, so I'm just going to log into there. Okay, now I'm in my functions.php file of my active child theme. So that's where you want to go. You want to go to your active themes uh, folder using cPanel or FTP and edit the functions.php file. Now, in the blog post, you'll find a link to uh, my gist, and in there, you want to copy this PHP code. So click on raw. Select all, copy, and paste into your themes functions.php file. So to summarize what this function is doing is we're using a native WordPress um, filter for the menu. And we're saying if it's the header menu and it's the business page, change the menu to our business menu. But because we all have different WordPress installs, we have different pages um, and all that, there's two things that you need to change when you copy that code across to make it work with your install. The first is you need to check that it's the business page. So you need to get the ID of the business page. And then if it is, you need to get the ID of the menu for the business page in your install. So let me just show you. So we need to get the ID of our business page. And to do that, view the business page and click edit page. The edit page screen, you'll see in the URL where it says post equals 1159. That's our post ID. So that's the page ID for the business page. So let's copy that and put it into our code. So what we've done so far is if it's the header and it's our business page, we need to change it to our menu. So 32, that's just a dummy value that I put in there just so your code doesn't break, but you need to change the 32 to the menu of your uh, WordPress install. So um, if we go back to find that ID, go to appearance and then menus again. Now we want to select the business menu. So even though the business menu is selected by default because it's the, the last menu that we edited, just go ahead and click select again to reload the page. And what you'll notice if we look at the URL up here, because we've done that, we now have on the end of that line it says, menu equals 38. So that's the ID of the menu. So that's the ID of my business menu. Your ID will be different. But all that matters is you've got your ID now. So copy that, 38. Now copy that into the code. So 38. And click save changes. And then if we look at the front end of our website now, personal, banking, home buying and super and retiring. And if we click through these, they scroll. And if we click on business, you'll see that the menu changes. And that's it, that's, that's the, the tutorial.
Now, building upon this idea, I mean, there's so, just using this, just knowing that you can change the main menu uh, on, con on a per page basis, uh, based on conditionals, like um, if it is a page, like that, uh, you can expand on this. So, I mean, another way to do this is you could have personal and business up here, and then like the CBA site, you could have each of these click through to different pages. And what you would do is you'd have personal, and then for the main menu, you would just uh, use a, a WordPress function, so as a native WordPress function to list the children of a page. You would uh, just make these the child pages of the personal page. So clicking on that, it would automatically output them here, and clicking on business would automatically output any child page of the business page. Uh, comment below if you would want a tutorial on doing that. Um, I mean, I can, I can do that tutorial for you guys. It's just whether you guys do want that. Um, but yeah, have a play, have a play of the different conditionals. You could change this menu based on if your user is logged in. Um, and not only that, if you go back to the code, it says here, um, if the theme location is the header, which works for the um, Beaver Builder theme, but you could change the header to a different location in your theme. So there you have it. If you, there's gonna be a, so there you have it. I'm gonna be releasing a lot more video tutorials uh, on Beaver Builder and WordPress and pretty much anything that will help people using WordPress build websites really fast, ridiculously. So there you have it. So there you have it. So there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I'm gonna be doing a lot of video tutorials in the next couple of weeks. I've got a new webcam um, and I'm just really eager to get some content out there for you guys to, uh, I've got a few uh, blog posts that I do have to um, do. So there you have it guys, don't forget to subscribe below. Um, I've got a new webcam, I'm really eager to do some more video tutorials, so if you have a request on uh, something with Beta Builder that you want me to explore for you, uh, or even if it's just a, a general WordPress uh, question or problem that you're having, um, I'd love to do a video tutorial for you. So yeah, leave a comment or fill out my contact form on beyondbeaver.com. I also have a request a blog page which is dedicated for you guys asking questions, whether it be written content or videos, and I'll put it out and, and help you. Um, but yeah, always looking for new ideas for blog posts. I'm loving it. I'm loving giving back uh, to the WordPress community. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Till next time.